The interior of a small hall with a raised platform and a large white screen and speakers on stands. A woman aged about 40 to 50, medium-length brown hair, wearing a so-called camouflage t-shirt. A black skirt on her legs, flesh-colored, semi-transparent tights and black, imitation or leather, pumps on a low, medium-thick stiletto heel. In the film, the woman stands the entire time and from time to time changes her leg, on which she rests her entire body weight. He seems to put his right foot down more often, often lifting it to the platform. And it is on it that the action most often takes place, when the right foot partially, with the heel, leaves the footwear. The left shoe is less likely to lose a foot. The existence of a hidden corridor in the Great Pyramid of Giza has been confirmed. The pyramids still hold secrets from us. A group of researchers using the technique of muon tomography discovered the presence of a hitherto unknown corridor inside the Great Pyramid of Pisa. The corridor is 9 meters long and 2 meters wide and is located above the main entrance to the pyramid. Egyptian authorities have reported the existence of a hidden corridor above the main entrance to the Great Pyramid of Pisa. Video from an endoscope camera showed the interior of the corridor, which is 9 meters long and 2.1 meters wide. The first reports of possible, empty spaces, inside the Great Pyramid appeared in 2016 and 2017. This was reported by scientists associated with the Scan Pyramids project, which began in 2015 as a collaboration between major universities in France, Germany, Canada and Japan, and a group of Egyptian experts. Research using muon beam scanning already gave serious conjecture that there was a hitherto unknown chamber or corridor above the original main entrance on the north wall. Now, scientists at the Technical University of Munich, TUM, have used ultrasound and endoscopy to confirm earlier suspicions. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops or the Pyramid of Khufu, is located on the Giza Plateau. This is the largest pyramid built by the ancient Egyptians. It was founded during the Old Kingdom around 2560 BC. Egyptologists assume that the time of construction of the monument was 20 years, and its purpose was the tomb of Pharaoh Cheops, Chufu. The pyramid is nearly 140 meters high, originally 146.59 meters, and 230 meters wide. It consists of about 2.3 million stone blocks. Despite being one of the oldest and largest structures on Earth, there is no consensus among researchers as to how it was built. To better understand its internal structure, scientists from the Scan Pyramids project scanned the pyramid using muons, unstable elementary particles belonging to the category of leptons that are only partially absorbed by the stone. Muons are related to electrons, they have the same properties, but more than 200 times more mass. They are created when high-energy particles called cosmic rays collide with the nuclei of gas atoms in Earth's atmosphere. This so-called secondary cosmic rays. Muons are created from these collisions. Their most interesting feature is that they can penetrate matter to some extent. Researchers decided to use this technique also because it does not destroy the tested object. Traveling at close to the speed of light, muons bombard the Earth from all sides. Every palm-sized area of our planet is hit by roughly one muon per second. These particles can pass through hundreds of meters of solid material before being absorbed. The chamber or corridor found by the researchers is larger than expected. Scientists, through the hole found between the stones, introduced an endoscopic camera into the previously located empty space using muon tomography, confirming the existence of a previously unknown room.
the discovery of an empty space in the pyramid is already something special. But the fact that this chamber is large enough to accommodate several people makes this discovery even more important. Says Professor Christian Gross from TUM. The first measurement data indicated the existence of a corridor at least 5 meters long, but according to preliminary estimates made after endoscopy, the length of the chamber reaches 9 meters. In the chamber, scientists have not seen any signs of human activity, so they assume that this room has not been seen by anyone for about 4,500 years. Determining the purpose of the newly discovered chamber and what lies beyond its back wall will require additional research. Some believe that this room played an architectural role and helped ensure structural integrity. However, the confirmation of the existence of a hitherto unknown room highlights the need for further study of the Egyptian pyramids. In 2017, in the Pyramid of Cheops, after scanning with muons, an empty space about 30 meters long was also discovered, which is located just above the Grand Gallery. Cheating the brain. Optical illusion of an expanding black hole. An optical illusion described in the journal Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, makes the viewer feel as if they are being swallowed up by the black hole at the center of the still image. The viewer has the impression of an expanding dark area, as if he is moving towards it. Developed by Norwegian researchers. The illusion tricks our brain so well that it can even cause the pupil to dilate. However, not everyone is able to see the widening hole. Scientists don't know why this is happening. Various forms of optical illusions are widely known. In all of them, we see something that does not really exist, does not exist or simply cannot take place. Appropriate arrangement of objects. Shapes and colors on the plane is supposed to influence how the information about what we see is processed by our brain. One of the more interesting such illusions is where we see a constantly expanding dark region, as if we were being swallowed up by a black hole. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Frontiers in Human Neuroscience. In this illusion, there is a black ellipse in the center of the rectangle. The important thing here is that it is surrounded by a shaded, dark area, something like a halo. The background is white, with much smaller black ellipses at equal distances from each other. Vertically, horizontally and diagonally. These are already devoid of this additional, halo, effect. People looking at such an image usually focus on the ellipse in the middle. The moment we start staring at it, the image we see begins to move. As a result, we begin to have the impression that this black ellipse begins to grow, gradually engulfing the surrounding space. Which is of course an illusion. What is interesting, however, is that not everyone sees an expanding black hole. For example, a study conducted in a group of 50 people showed that only, or as much as, 86%. It felt like an expanding black space. According to the researchers, the expanding hole is a kind of dynamic illusion. In the case of this particular illusion, it tricks our brain into thinking it perceives changes in the brightness of the surroundings of the ellipse. Which of course is not the case in reality. This gives us the impression of, for example, entering deeper and deeper into a dark tunnel. By specifying this and further explaining the mechanism of this illusion, the researchers add that it uses the natural reaction of our brain, which simply tries to anticipate potential changes in the level of brightness. We can explain this by the reaction of our body when, for example, we enter a dark cave. Even before we enter it for good, our brain prepares us for it by dilating the pupils accordingly, as it anticipates the reduced amount of light in the new environment. The researchers studied the same reaction in the context of the expanding hole illusion.
they used special cameras that were supposed to observe the reaction of the subject's pupils. It was observed that when staring at the black ellipse, they reacted exactly as if their owners were entering the cave. Interestingly, the pupils of those who saw a larger, black hole, dilated even more. An interesting conclusion from these facts is that our pupils react to how we perceive brightness, even imagined brightness. The study in question was also carried out in a version in which, for example, the color of the ellipse was changed. In this case, the pupil response of the subjects was weaker than before. Even more interesting results were obtained by inverting the colors. When the participants in the study stared at the white ellipse with the halo, their pupils did exactly the opposite. They began to constrict. However, it is still not clear why some people do not seem to be susceptible to this type of delusion at all.